Welcome to the Design Knit 8 video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be working in the standards garment styling section of the program to make a knee length coat. I'm going to say File New, Adult Female, a cardigan with set in sleeves, a V neckline, and rounded across the back. OK. We're going to be knitting this on a knitting machine. We're going to be using the KH270 Bulky. OK. And our tensions are going to be 4 and 6.5. And let's change that on here too so that the ribbing looks nice on the screen. The tension dial settings 3 and 1 click. This is going to be an intarsia coat. OK. We're going to pick oversize ease this time because we want the ease to go over top of our indoor garments. OK. A standard size. I'm going to, my chest size is 38. I'm going to change it to a 40 inch chest size so that it has a little bit extra room even from the oversize. OK. And here's where we kind of fool with it. We have, we have a short jacket right here but we want to make it a long knee length jacket. So I'm going to change the nape to the garment length past my hips and all the way down to my knees. This is going to be 50 inches. The arm length I'm going to change to 26 inches which is two and a half inches longer. The upper arm is 13 and the wrist I'm going to make this 10 so that it has room to go over mittens and sweaters. Okay, so now we have a coat that's almost what we want. We want to have a hung hem here for the ribbing on the body it's going to be zero. The other thing on the body that we want to do is we want the overlap which is this part right here. We want to overlap it four inches is going to be the button band and the shoulder drop is going to be one inch. Okay, apply this, okay. Now I have this overlap here, but I don't I, I don't want it in the garment part of the coat. I want it in the button band ribbing part of the coat. This ribbing coming down from the button band and this ribbing up on the neckline are correlated with each other. So if I change this neckline ribbing, this will change also. So let's change the neckline ribbing and change the neck band to four inches. And you can see it changing. The width from 7.5 I'm going to change to 8.5 so it's a little bit longer to go over coats. The v-neck depth I'm going to make 20 inches deep. The back is straight and the back depth of 1 inch is fine. The sleeves I'm also going to have a hung hem for the sleeves and there we have a coat. We're going to say file, save as. We'll say Karen 06 for now and then we would say file and print and print out our garment notation here or we would go into interactive knitting and we would follow the knitting instructions along as we went. The final thing that you need to do for this coat is to take it into stitch designer section of the program shown here and lay out your intarsia design on your coat. You might, if it's a complicated intarsia design, you could print out the garment shaping and stitch pattern at the same time on a knit leader and follow along the color changes, uh, intarsia color changes on the knit leader. Thank you.